This is Randy Babel from All Sports Scoreboards. These are two of the standard scoreboards that we've done uh, just recently for Morton Bay Regional Council. Okay, uh, essentially this one has see, the game timer and the scores. This one just has the scores only. This one here, the game timer can count up or count down or show the time of day. So for various different sports it can actually be used. The digits on both of these are 400 mil um, or 16 inches in height, and they can be 300, 400, 500, up to 750 mil in size. Um, two, type of, two types of controllers for this one. There's actually a, uh, what's called an E70 controller, which is a Windows-based controller, um, and it's basically very easily set up. You have a buzzer that goes off, which is an extra loud siren. Um, the score is actually very simple to push up. So as you can see, the scores can go up or down. Beauty. Very simple. Okay. Um, we can also set this one up so I can blank the scores off. Okay. And push them back on again. Very simple setup. And you got that? Just take yep. that down now. Okay. The other scoreboard that we have has a slightly different type of controller on it. It's only showing the time that the score is going up. This is a PVC style controller, a keypad. Ooh. This is a wireless setup with its own battery, a wireless recharger. Um, which actually plugs in on the side here, using the standard AC power. But if you do have power to it, it actually plugs right into your wall socket. Once again, scores are easily accumulated up and down, okay, or incremented up and down by simply pushing your buttons. This one also has a game timer on an LCD screen that shows, um, so that the, the um, scorer can actually um, score the game, but obviously there's no game time on the clock. And it does also. Have a siren on it as well, so you can actually, uh, so the game siren can sound when the, the time is over. Both of these are on portable trolleys, um, so you can actually wheel them around. Four wheel trolleys on pneumatic wheels. The wheels are actually right now soft for packing, but it's easy enough to take a lift up. One person can wheel it around. Coming around the back, battery pack. Battery packs are all set up here so that the, that the scoreboards can be controlled without having to connect to mains power. If the lid goes up on the top of it, makes it fairly weather weatherproof, not waterproof, weatherproof. Okay. Um, all your, you, you can see your extra scoreboard just connects into the side by a standard power point. Let me just get down here. A standard power point. So actually, the power point is actually here. You don't need to take and run it off your battery packs. You can just simply unplug this, stand, plug this into a standard power point. Both of them are set up in similar manners. Okay. Uh, noticing that this one is a hardwired controller, so your cable connector. Sorry, Roger. The cable connection actually goes across into the USB port through a hardwired connection and plugged into the back of the scoreboard. Once again, you set up similar thing. Your battery packs are here. Three 21 amp hour batteries. If the battery life is not long enough for you, you can simply add another three 21 amp hour batteries. Um, very simple system, system to operate. Um, that's basically it. Everything is there. They're pretty fairly self-explanatory to operate. Plastic is on both of these right now for packing. They just remove that. It makes it all clean for you. Pull the plastic off the top as well. Okay, and everything comes off. Um, everything is aluminum fabricated, so the, the units aren't going to rust. Color bond capping and cladding, same stuff that you see on all the roofs. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Randy Babel, Lost Sports Scoreboards.